the brother and sister. The first reading of today tell us how God appeared to Moses in the burning bush. God first remind Moses of God's sacredness and of Moses' sinfulness. The place where you stand, says the Lord, is holy ground, so remove your sandal. Then God reveal his plan for his chosen people who were in bondage in Egypt. I have witnessed the affliction of my people in Egypt, says the Lord to Moses. I have heard their cry of complaint. Therefore, I send you to rescue them from the hands of the Egyptian. But in spite of all that God did for his people, we know that the Israelites that most of them were not pleasing to God. This is what Paul recalled to us in the second reading of today. So it is obvious that even though we have been called and saved by God, repentance is always necessary. Sins and weaknesses call for repentance. And Jesus in the gospel, do not hesitate to remind the Jews that they will lose the promises unless they repent. At first, Jesus is reminded about two historical events, the crime committed by Pilate and the sudden collapse of a tower at the pool of Siloam, both events that resulted with the death of many people. But refusing to comment directly on these two tragic events, Jesus, above all, ruled out the connection between the death of these people and the sins which they may have committed. Instead, Jesus used the remember events as an invitation to people who listen to him to learn a lesson from these incidents. And more precisely, to see in them a call to conversion. If you do not repent, Jesus said, you will perish as they did. Seeing the happening of these two sad events, people are called to repent of their sins so that they will not be definitively separated from God. In the second reading, Paul pick up on the journey of Israel in the desert. He remind his Christian readers on how God provided many blessings to his people. But in spite of God's sign and wonders, the people still continue to sin. And as a result of refusing to trust in the Lord, Paul wrote, many died in the desert before seeing the promised land. Then Paul urged his listener to learn from the past and not to repeat the mistake of their ancestor. These things happen as example for us, wrote Paul, so that we might not desire evil, evil, evil things as they did. So, it is very clear 
that the central theme of today's reading is repentance. The good news in these readings is that we are given the opportunity to learn from the failure of our ancestor and from the consequences of their action. And we are also given another opportunity through the parable of the barren fig, fig tree in the gospel to call upon the Lord who is a merciful, a compassionate, and a loving father. Through this parable, Jesus teach us that God is always merciful and patient. This parable is even is often called the parable of the second chance. God always gives us sinner time to repent, time to turn back to him and to bear fruit in union with his will. But one day, the Lord will judge the unrepentant sinners. The parable of the barren fig tree shows us very clearly what will happen as the result of our unrepentant misdeeds. If we do not repent, a day will come when we will be cut down like the tree and thrown into the everlasting fire. The scripture are clear. God does not want the death of sinner, but that he repents, reform his life, and turn back to God. So, as we said in the beginning, repentance is always necessary. And this is what Lent is about each year, a specific time to bear fruit of repentance and to welcome the forgiving love of God. Brother and sister, let us conclude now with a naive but beautiful story about the constant forgiveness of God in spite of our continuous sinfulness. A story taken from a very simple conversation between a child and his mother. On one rainy afternoon, a mother was driving along off a main street of the town. Suddenly, her seven-year-old son, Matthew, spoke up from the relaxed position in the rear seat. Mom, I am thinking about something. Eager to hear, the mother asked, what are you thinking of? Her son answered, Mom, the rain is like sin and the windscreen wiper are like God wiping our sin away. Oh, that is really good, Matthew, the mother replied. Then the curiosity of the mother broke in to see how far this little boy take this revelation. So she asked him, did you notice how the rains keep on coming? What does that tell you? Matthew did not hesitate a moment and answer right away. Yes, ma'am. It tell me that we keep on sinning, but God just keeps on forgiving. Brother and sister, if we are able during this land to express 
true repentance in front of God and in front of our brother and sister, we will also experience this constant forgiveness of the Lord. Amen.